Aloha and good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Capture Fish. Today we got a special treat for you. Oh, wow. Rob's here too. I got my lovely lady, Ale, in, in our boat. This is, this is brother Rob. Howdy. What's up, bro? How's it going, dude? Good. This is brother Reese right here. Reese. Yes, sir. Morning. And this is Weston. You guys probably know Weston from before. Thanks for the keys. Sure thing. So Weston's, uh, this is his maiden voyage on his, his boat he's been working on for over a year. Look at this thing. Look how cherry that thing is now. So we're going to buddy boat today. We're going to have fun for our first day out with this boat. And we're going to hopefully catch some fish. Come along. Let's go. Alright guys, we're coming out through the Alawai channel right now. And uh we're just gonna kinda play in town, what we call. This is town, obviously. But this is one of my most favorite parts of the day. As the sun starts to rise, you see all the different beautiful colors of a sunrise. And it's really, really magical. Got Weston back there. And uh winds are just light enough. Looks like it's coming out of the north. So we'll see. Hopefully, uh, we'll uh, be able to supply you guys with some action today. And hopefully, get something to eat. I love something to eat. Wouldn't you guys want us to catch something and we can cook? I'm gonna show you guys how we prepare something. So hopefully, we can get something that we can do a little catch and cook. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys notice these leaves behind me, but. In Hawaiian tradition, this is uh, for good luck, kind of watch over us when we're out in the water. I gave one to Weston on his maiden voyage to make sure that uh, this boat was safe as well. So this is kind of uh, our gar guardian tea. So just a little, little, little thing. On, here we go. Oh no, oh yeah, oh. Oh. oh, Christmas tree. Oh, it just came off. Right here, Opelu. This is what we're trying to get. Bring them all up. It's tricky when you when you got a few fish on. I feel like I got four of them on right now. The main thing is you just keep in constant pressure. Oh, there's one just, one just popped off. Hopefully we can land these other three. Oh, another one just popped off. We got two. Let's see if we can land these two. Oh, one just came off. They got super soft mouths. And so you'll notice they'll just tear right off. That's the snacks of the sea right there. Yeah. All right, fish on. Wait, really? Oh no, double humu. Huh? Wow. All right, these guys. Nine of five, on the line. These guys are called hoggy. 
Um, it's a type of trigger fish. And uh, my friend Jeremy actually really likes to eat them. So we're gonna keep these two. But uh, here we go. There you go, those are, those are trigger fish, AKA hoggy. If you know how to prepare them right, they're actually pretty tasty. But they're pre pretty cool looking. Really, really sharp. Uh, it's like sandpaper like skin. Look at their teeth. They got some gnarly chompers. First couple fish. Yeah, so once you get across some humus, you it's really hard to get rid of them. So we're gonna we're gonna go move spots and uh, get away from these hoggies, we call them. Because uh, as much as some people eat them, this is not what I'm looking for today. A unique fish. Cool uh, dorsal fin that locks into place. And then when they need to go fast, they lock it down and so it's streamlined. And then these guys are really, really agile in the water. And this little tail right here, as much as it looks small, it has a lot of power. These guys fight pretty good. But that's the last hoggy I'm gonna harvest and the rest of them are gonna get released. And uh, hopefully we can get what I'm targeting. But last little hoggy for the cooler, for our Jeremy. He'll be happy. Ollie's got one. Oh, this might be the good fish we're looking for. It is. It's an abetta. Swing it this way. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. All right. Sweet. This is what we're looking for. This is awesome. Now this fish is tasty. This little guy right here looks kind of funky, but that is a tasty fish. Good job. First nabeta. Awesome. Dong dong to Winton. Yo. Got one the beta. Come again? Got one the beta. Nice, you found them then. Yes, sir. Yeah, we just dropped down again just now. Sick. Ooh. Okay. Not fighting. Whoa. See how he's pulling line like that? Oh. All right, guys, we're into something good right here. Hopefully we can keep it on. <laughs> Hopefully it's not another hoggy. Yeah. Woo. Wow, look at this Vecchi Nono, guys. Look at this fish. This is a beautiful veke nono. Some people call them veke ulas as well. This fish is so beautiful and it's really, really good eating. You can see by the colors in it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to... The colors on this fish is just gorgeous. Awesome. Another good one in the box. go this is a beautiful milu ulua almost ulua 
beautiful fish though. All right guys, here you go. This is a blue trevally or called omilu in Hawaii. This guy's about just shy of 10 pounds. Beautiful fish. These guys are actually really good eating, but just because we've had a really successful day already, I'm going to let this guy go and uh, live to fight another day. Look how beautiful this fish is. Look at that electric blue. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, there you go. All right. All right, there we go. This is our Veke Ula or Veke Nono. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys how we, or how I'm gonna prepare it. I'm gonna do half of this fish steamed ginger onion, Chinese style, and the other half we're gonna sashimi it. For these guys right here, the nobetas, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean these guys up and we're gonna fry these guys. Uh, that's gonna be dinner tonight. So that's the mission. All right, so utilizing a spoon, I'm gonna use this against the grain when scaling. And I'm just pushing down and just Now our veke is scaled. It's kind of neat. You can actually push the skin down and it shows the pattern of how it was. And you flip it back, goes the other way. Fully scaled, both sides. And then your next step, just like any other fish, start up the butt. In this process, I actually don't mind using a serrated edge. and clean. Now the next step is I'm going to fillet this one just because the size. This is a six pounder. I just weighed it, uh, which is, it's not my biggest one, but it's definitely a trophy size Becky Ula. This is a massive, massive fish. So I'm going to fillet it, get the, the fillets off, and then uh, we'll show you the next process for uh, sashimi. Side peck fin right here, just like every other fish. And then that's your initial cut right there. And that separates that. And you're always rotating the fish so it best fits how you're working. I rotate it so the head's facing this way. And the first cut, I'm gonna go in from here and trace all the way down. And you don't have to go that thick, you're just kind of making an outline. So I'm kind of holding this and pulling down to keep the tension of the meat. Always wanna use a sharp knife, so it makes this a lot easier. and you're utilizing that center bone as your guide guideline. You should hear that sound. Because that's when you know you're actually hitting that center. So again, I'm lifting and I'm going to the same cut. Turning the fish again. Nice and thin slice, and then slightly deeper each time you go. This is where we're gonna be cutting through a little bit of bone, which is the rib bone right there. Almost there. Sometimes it needs a little bit of guiding. There you go. There we go. So that's one fillet right there. And again, you can see kind of your your ribs and whatnot. And the more and more practice you get, you can get a, a little bit better at it. And then here I left a little bit of meat on 
So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just cut, a, cut that off just like that. And we'll add this to our little sashimi pile. And again, not rinsing it. I'm not putting any fresh water on it at all. Flip your fish over and repeat the same step. All right, there we go. So that's our second filet off the fish. So one's gonna be for steam and the other one's gonna be for sashimi. I'm excited I get to use uh, the knife that my buddy Kale gave me. I'm so excited. Beautiful, beautiful knife right here. This is a taco sashimi knife. You can see there's a little octopus on there right there. Take all, all the safety stuff, but this is a beautiful sashimi knife. I always like to have a paper towel next to me whenever I'm, I'm cooking or whenever I'm, I'm cutting sashimi because uh, you always want to make sure your knife is really clean. And uh, this thing is, ooh. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the ribs section and then I'm gonna take the skin off and then we're gonna portion this thing out. Everyone has different ways. I wasn't traditionally trained, da 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 da, so this is my disclaimer. I'm not a chef, Wah. And so sometimes there's pin bones that run up the center of your fish. So next step right here is I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna take the skin off. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut down the center. So now this is all meat. There's no bones in this whatsoever, which is gonna make beautiful, beautiful sashimi. I'm so excited about this. We got our nice filet, and we're just gonna make these nice cuts. There you go. Some beautiful Veke Ula sashimi ready to go. For the nabeta, we're gonna do something a little different. Instead of scaling this fish, the scales are extremely soft and actually hold a lot of flavor. So instead of scaling it, it's gonna go ahead and uh, just gut it and, uh, and gill it. That's the only process that I'm gonna do for cleaning the nabeta. Keeping the fish whole, the head intact, just the gills and the guts are gone. There you go, ready to cook. All right, for the next segment of this video, I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. Ginger, green onion, cilantro, Chinese parsley, peanut oil, we need sesame seed oil, soy sauce, shoyu, use the less sodium, uh, brown sugar or white sugar. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna kind of prep up these uh, these gingers right here. We got a ginger, kind of chop. You can chop it however you like. I just make, make them nice and nice and thick. Some people like to cube it up a little bit more thin, like this. But that's all preference. Cilantro. This real rough chop, the cilantro, and green onion, probably get away with uh, this much green onion. Green onion, cilantro, and our ginger is chopped and ready to go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little bit more cilantro when, um, when, the, when the dish is done and we're gonna do that's kind of a, as the presentation of a, of this fish and, and whatnot. So kind of, this one's a little different. 
and chop it a long way. I make our sauce, which is a little bit of shoyu, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. Ready for the next step, which is uh, the steamer. Okay. Get your wok, your plate, a little hack, get a bowl in here, and then some water. Take our fish, get down on the plate. There's a mess. Let's score this just a light little bit. ginger inside as it cooks. Get our ginger right here. We can put the ginger inside if you like. More flavor. The thing is the ginger is gonna cook, it's gonna cook inside there pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna add some green onion to it. Not too much greens. A little bit of green onion, boom. And here's our shoyu sugar mix. A little bit. Fish. And then boom, that's basically ready to go. Bring the water up to a boil and then turn it back off. Like turn it slowly down to a simmer and uh, 15 minutes or so. Here's a little tip, whenever it helps you figure out whether or not your fish is ready, get a chopstick and push it through. And if it goes through, if your chopstick goes through without any uh, resistance, that's when you know your fish is done. So this, this fish is it's, it's getting there. Almost, almost there. Here's the last step. So I'm gonna add some green onion and then that cilantro. There you go, just like that. And then you get your hot peanut oil. There you have it, steamed fish, Chinese style. Okay, there you go, finished product guys. We got um, the steamed head from the Vekeula, we got sashimi from the Vekeula, we got fried nabeta, and then the steamed fish. Time to give it a shot. I think, uh, yeah, I gotta try this one. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, that's so good. Woo! Okay. That's the first one. Alright. I'm gonna get some of this little, this Nabetha. Look at all that crispy skin with the scales intact. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. That's just salt seasoning, that's it. This fish has so much flavor because of the things that it eats. 
that fish is amazing. That kewal is amazing. I'm gonna try some of this sashimi, actually. Mm. All right, I gotta feed the rest of my family. So either way, I really appreciate you guys riding along with us on this adventure. Little catch and cook, Hawaiian style, catching some vekeula and some nabeta. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks again for hanging out again. And uh, you know, we'll see you guys on the water. Keep a tight line. Aloha.